Uh, Tyler, the creator. He yep. dropped two new songs. He dropped two new videos. Yep. He's got a special edition to Call Me If You Get Lost dropping tomorrow. Yep. He's really rolling out a deluxe. This is crazy. That's crazy. He got a whole rollout to a deluxe, man. I've never I've never seen that. Off the Lucy's. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen that before. But yes, he's going to call it. Of course, the, the album is called Call Me If You Get Lost, but this is going to be called The Estate Sale. Like you said, it'll be out Friday, man. The two songs, though. So Dog Tooth came out on Monday, I believe, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the 27th. Monday, he drops Dog Tooth. I love this song. So this one has uh, the the song is out, and then he did the YouTube video, like you mentioned. But this one, I enjoyed the most, man. Tyler Creator. Really? Yeah, man. He just, I, I like the flow on this uh, on this song. I like the bars on this song, and I like the music video. But yeah, to me, this one was my favorite. I really like Dog Tooth. I like both of the songs that were put out, and we're going to get into in just a second, uh, Sorry Not Sorry, the song that was released on Wednesday. But I like the beat from Dog Tooth. I think his rap is superb. I think time and time again, over the last four to five years, Tyler, the creator, is starting to show you why he's one of the best in this game. I think as we start to move into this rapish alternative era, he's going to turn into quickly the biggest rapper in music. I don't know if I'm the only one that's seeing this. The sound of music is starting to position Tyler, the creator, at number one. Am I wrong? Or do you, can you see where I'm, where I'm going with this? I get your point. The yeah, sa- yeah, yeah, I get your point. The alternative becoming number one, mixing with the, the music just leaving, rap being number one, mm-hmm. puts Tyler, the creator, in a hell of a position. Mm-hmm. He's at the forefront of this shit. Yeah, I can see that. And he's the sharpest he's ever fucking been. Every fucking bar on Dog Tooth, crazy. But I want to move into his next song, Sorry Not Sorry. That was the one that only came out on YouTube Wednesday. I'm sure by the end of the week, we'll have this on the estate sale version of the album. Yeah. This was my favorite track. Okay, why is that? Through and through, no matter who it is, when we talk about the rap game, I am always into the more melodic track than the busier, more bangerish track. This is the one where he's going to cut deep. It's a B-side. Um, it's just vulnerable as fuck. You can hear it in the beat. Mm-hmm. He sounds amazing. This, this to me, is the most, um, most touching, the most heartfelt. It'll kick you in the gut more. So I like Sorry Not Sorry the best. Okay. Now, what I will say, I like I mentioned, Dog Tooth. I like that one better as a song. If we compare music videos, I like Sorry Not Sorry better in the music video because what he did, he dressed up as every single one of his old album covers yes. in the video. So every outfit that he had on every album that he's put out, every project that he's put out, he's that particular person in um, like a different scene of the video. So... I just like that. I feel like he was, um, he showed, of course, we know Tyler, the creator is very creative. Obviously, it's in his name. But no, this video was insane, bro. Like, I give this video an, an A+. plus. That shit should win awards. It was that good. So, Tyler, the creator, I'm looking forward to just the overall release of the Deluxe, man. This is an album that um, went not only platinum, I believe, but the shit won a Grammy, you know? So, they call me if you get lost, win the Grammy that year? Yeah. Because I know he won for Igor. I couldn't remember if he won for Call Me If You Get Lost. Yes, because last He was up against King uh, KD2. Yeah. Last year at the Dreamville Fest, they were interviewing DJ Khaled. I mean, not DJ Khaled. DJ Drama, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you don't want to... Oh, Kari, you're shady. What? what? Look what you just <laughs> That's did. That's crazy. I just oh, did that. Kari, how did you do that? I apologize. You did yo. that because Khaled was mad at Tyler? My fault. You yo. think they ever made up? No. Okay. Over themselves. Yeah, no. In the bundles. Yeah, Khaled was Khaled was mad. He said that he didn't like the way that or it was numbers. positioned. Right, no, right. he didn't like the way that his album was positioned right yeah. there to get number one. But really, DJ Khaled bundled and still still didn't go number one. It's crazy. Yeah. That was Igor, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. my favorite Tyler yeah. Creator album. Amazing. My apologies though. DJ Drama, let me put some respect on your name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. 
he was uh, doing an interview at the Dreamville Fest last year, and he got news of the Grammy during the interview. It was live. Anyways, that's all I wanted to mention. But that's why I'm looking forward to just hearing this project, man. I know it's going to be great. We don't know how many songs we're getting just yet. We have these two. But hopefully he gives us, you know, a good handful of uh, more new songs just so we can listen to that shit and rock out, bro. I agree with you. Like, Tyler is, to a certain point, positioning himself to be that number one guy. I know what you mean as far as the way the sound of music is developing right now with that mix of rap, R&B, alternative, pop, dance. Like, it's all formulating to a sound that sounds like Tyler, the creator. So, yes, I can definitely see that happening. 